Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I have an MFT order to share with y'all uh, today. Um, they they don't always, it depends on the size of the items or your order, but they don't, you don't always get this box, but I love that it says, this box contains a whole lot of happy. Um, open quick and get crafty. <laughs> so when I do get these particular boxes, I do like to keep these because um, you can put, you know, it's just the right size if you're working on a project. So I will be holding on to this box, but uh, anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And you know what I'm thinking? I've just recorded a whole bunch of videos in a row, and so now I'm wondering, did I just say that for the second time. If I did, I'm very sorry. Anyway, so as you know, they're always great at, um, everything's always packed in pretty, um, tissue paper. I'm gonna set my little keeper box over here to the side. I think uh, this is yellow. Y'all know I don't have a lot of luck with yellow, but I'm gonna try it. I'm hoping maybe pineapple. Um, It is not pineapple. It is some kind of fruit. And it's not a fruit I like. It's it's actually really gross. Mm. If you're new to my channel, I don't always have good luck with jelly belly yellow jelly bellies. And this one was gross. <laughs> my bad, I'm sorry. Little sneak peek there, y'all can see some um, rubber stamps. It looks like a big order, but it's 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 an awkward size because there's quite a few background stamps and they're big and they're bulky. Anywho, my freebie. Like, was this my freebie? Let me let me find my card. Mm. Here we go. So, Picked and Packed with Love by Nicholas and Angie. Thank you. And my freebie was... Where's it at? Hmm. I don't know which one my freebie is. Okay, well, oh well. Um, I think this was my freebie. Tall trees. Um, because you had, uh, in the past couple times I've gone on there, there's been this one, a uh, stamp, and a, I think a one with clouds or a different tree. But, so that I think was my freebie. Um, if you've never ordered with MFT, um, when you, I think it's $60, um, and it's automatic, it pops up a little screen on your monitor or whatever you're shopping on, and it automatically gives you the option of the items to choose from for your freebie. So, anyway, so there's that one. Then, there was this die set, it is called Message in a Bottle. It's really cute, so, like, you even have the cork. And then... You have the little blister packs for the, the bottle pouches if you want to make it a shaker element. And I'm going to have to order some more of these. Now, you don't have to have these. You can just um, use acetate to cover this and then use foam tape or whatever to, you know, put some depth in there for your shaker bits to shake around in. So anyway, so there's that. I think I'll save my background dies for last. Then, uh, this one I really toyed with. I was not sure at all. Um, huh. I'm going to have to check my order because I think I'm missing something. So, I have a die here. It's for Christmas Cardinals. So, there's that. I'm wondering if it sold out before it got pl 
replaced. I'm checking my flip here. Just the die, so I guess I'm gonna have to go in and, and look because um, I'm thinking maybe I thought I was ordering the stamp set. As you can see, you have two different cardinals there, a couple of trees, some branches. Um, so anyway, I'll have to go look for that one. Then, um, I've ordered some of the other balloons. This kind of series came out a couple months ago, but this is called the Balloon Cover-Up. You can use this as a shaker, or you don't have to. Um, you can just use it as a card front. Then you have the different balloons, so you can cut out and, and layer them up, you know, do whatever. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five dies in this set. And again, this is called Balloon Cover-Up. Just got that. Then, um, I really debated on this set, and I have to look because I think I'm wondering if I clicked on this on accident. Um, because this is called Adorable Adventures, and I did not get it for the kids. I, I could really, the only one I really think is cute is her. I just think she's absolutely adorable. Um, these other ones I will probably never use, but I love the camping, the outdoorsy of this. Um, I, Growing up, we camped a lot, a lot, and um, did a little bit of camping when the kids were younger, but we haven't in many, many years. But just really loved all of this, and so we have, I'm so excited to see you. You always point me in the right direction. I sure do miss you. You plus me equals best time ever. Um, I love our adventures. Look, it's my best friend. I'd search for you anywhere, and I can't believe it's your birthday. You, me, happy birthday this way adventure. So you can, you know, change the, the signage on your signage there. You have some mountains, some hedges, some trees. You have a compass, thermos, little guy. He's got his walking stick. But, uh, I love the sentiments this, uh, in this. I love the outdoor elements and her. I think she's so cute. <laughs> so, anywho, so there's that. When we were little girls, we always had our hairs, uh, hair braided back into, uh, pig, uh, like braided pigtails when we were little. So that's why I think I love her so much. Then, um, they had this Halloween set called Ghostly Greetings. Y'all know I got the dies, but absolutely adorable. Y'all know I do cute Halloween. I don't do scary, spooky, um, but happy Halloween, R.I.P. Hey, ghoul. Hello, beautiful and ghostly greetings. And I just, the little ghosts are so adorable. So, um, so I got that set. Then, um, <clears throat> I, I think I have one of these. I have to check, and if so, um, I'll probably be gifting it to my sister. But MFT has some really fantastic background um, stamps, um, and you know, so they're clean rubber stamps. And so I picked up four of these. Um, two of them really make me think of Art Deco. They, they, they kind of are, but they're not. So I'll save those for last. But this first one is called All Lined Up. And so you can do a buffalo check with that. Uh, depending on how you stamp it, you can probably make it a nice plaid. Um, so there's that one. I gotta keep this aside so I can check on that. So there's that. This next one is called Four Corners Background, and I think this is really fun. So there you go. There's that one. But these next two, um, I, I, I don't think I love one more than the other. I absolutely love them both. This first one is called, Pe I'm so sorry, Peacock Pattern Background. Is that not beautiful or what? Honestly, this one and the next one, I think would be beautiful to do a 
clear on boss, clear and boss on um your your pattern or not your pattern on your paper. If you can get a good stamped image on a, I would you would have to go with a um a hot press watercolor paper. But I would do this and um, do um. Well, actually, you don't have to do watercolor either, but uh, stamp it, emboss it in clear um, embossing powder, and then go over it uh, to get the background image. Um, you can do it with watercolor. You can go over it with your blending brushes and do a fade or an ombre effect across the page. Really pretty. Um, so that's what I saw that one. And then this one is called Fanfare. This one really makes me think of Art Deco. This one can too, but this one gives me more of an Art Deco vibe to it. Again, it's called Fanfare. And I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I think this one, for if you're going with an Art Deco look, I would do a black cardstock. I would emboss this in a beautiful gold embossing powder. I, I think it would just be stunning as a background um, of an Art Deco inspired um, card. So, just beautiful. So they had those. I picked them up. Um, I think they were running a sale. I can't remember. Um, let me see. These were eleven fifty a piece, which is a really fantastic price um, for being cling and red rubber. Um, I love red rubber stamps. Um, to me, they get hands down probably the best stamped images. It doesn't matter what quality of uh, acrylic or photopolymer stamps you get. A a good rubber stamp, hands down, will always give you a... In, okay, this is my opinion and been my experience. A good red rubber stamp will always have a better stamped, crisper image than any high quality photopolymer that you're going to come across. So... But that's been my experience over the years. But anywho, so added those to my background stamps because I don't have lots of them. Because um, they are kind of big and bulky. Uh, but anywho, so there's that. Um, again, if you know my channel, I am not affiliated with MFT. I'm not affiliated with anybody, really. Um, I do have an Amazon affiliate links, but um, yeah, I don't. I, I have like an Amazon affiliate store that you can go on and see items that I use um you know storage stuff but as far as companies I am not affiliated with anybody it, when I share it with you I've bought it I give you my honest opinion um but anywho I'll put the link down below if you want to check it out I do think I do have a referral link that I think gives you ten dollars off your first order I think I honestly can't remember um, but I'll include that down below as well if you want to check that out. Um, feel free to shoot me an email. That's down in the description. Anywho, with that, I'm going to close here. It's Sunday night. I'm recording all these videos and I got to start winding down and getting ready for the work week. So with that, I love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.